What's up guys, welcome back to another video on Pure Panorama. As you can see, we are working on the frame, getting the wire wheel to it, trying to get down some of that surface rust and get it prepped for undercoating and everything. But this video, I wanna talk about um, my truck. Is it about to blow up? My 24 valve seems to be blowing a lot of oil down underneath the front end and it's just driving me nuts. I'm not quite sure what's going on with it but i feel like one of these days driving down the road it's just gonna explode so what i'm gonna end up having to do is get down under there with a whole lot of engine degreaser and just spray the crap out of it so that i can let it soak hopefully break up a lot of that oil and grime and then go ahead and pressure wash that over at the car wash or something so i need to get that cleaned up so that i can try to look underneath there and see where the oil is coming from my two worst fears are going to be a rear main seal and a front main seal not that the front main seal would be all that bad because we are going to have to get into the whole front of the engine and get the timing cover off when we get into the vp44 injection pump install but the rear main seal definitely frightens me because that is something that i won't be able to get done here at the house and I'll probably have to just let a shop do it uh, because I can't get the truck into the garage even if I could I don't think I would have enough space to get it up off the ground high enough to where I could get the trans drop down out of there and just get that rear main seal taken care of I really would like to get the transmission dropped out of the truck anyways so that we can do a new gasket on the oil pan but there's just some things that I'm not equipped to do here at the house and I don't have another shop that I can get the truck into um, to get it done so uh, some stuff I'm just gonna have to allow others to do and I'm gonna unfortunately have to pay for it but we've had this oil leak going on for a while now and it's just driving me nuts I know that there's typically gonna be oil oil down underneath the engine of a Cummins or a diesel truck especially these older Cummins trucks but damn man like I, I don't know I guess it could be worse and it really it takes a while for it to build up to the point of where it's at now so I have already cleaned it all down once before and it took quite quite some time for it to get back to being as bad as it is at the moment but uh i am gonna definitely get underneath there and clean it and i will show you guys just how nasty it is down underneath the front of my truck right now but it is hard to tell where it is coming from because it it's like it doesn't just spray in one area it's everything underneath the front of the truck is ends up getting covered in oil so it, it's hard to tell where it's coming from if it's coming from the vent tube the blow by tube down there if it's coming from the rear main seal if it's coming from the oil pan gasket the front main seal if it's got little leaks and stuff it all those spots and it's just when you're driving down the road the wind from driving is just kind of blowing it wherever it pleases and making a mess under the whole front of the truck it's tough to tell and I don't want to just get into tearing a lot of things apart and off the truck to replace certain things uh, without kind of knowing more 100% where it could be coming from because a lot of that stuff that I just listed the oil pan gasket the front main seal the rear main seal those are pretty big jobs and they're going to be they're going to consume a lot of time so for me to just kind of go into it blind and really start ripping things off the truck to replace those things um, it, it would kind of be silly of me to do that so if we get down here on the front of the truck I'm right underneath the front bumper right now you can see right across my sway bar here you can see there's like a drop of oil but you can see how wet that is and if we come in behind there and look at the front of the oil pan you can see moisture on that so we're definitely getting oil splatter from someplace and it's driving me nuts like this has some greasy filmy stuff on it nothing crazy but it definitely has oil on it and I just like to get that stuff cleaned up there's a lot of residue I guess I would say up on the frame and things you can see drops of oil there is there's a very good chance that it could be the actual gasket for the oil pan that is going or already is gone and that needs to be replaced and just from the pressure of it down in there it's is enough to spray it out where it's not sealing and just make it kind of go all over 
plus you combine that with the wind and the breeze from traveling down the road and the oil literally could end up anywhere but there's the inside of the front frame rail and then you got the AC condenser right there that thing's got freaking oil all over it so there's definitely we got some leakage and some problems going on that we need to figure out and then put a plan together so that we can get it taken care of. Then if we come back here, you can see moisture on the back side of the oil pan. All down this side, there's moisture on all those bolts right there and even some on the bell housing of the transmission. The trans pan is good, that, so that doesn't leak at all. Um, there's some moisture up here on the front of it. More like, I guess, buildup and gunk, which is probably just splatter from whatever is going on up here. So it's definitely engine oil that's coming from somewhere, and I, uh, I just wanna get it addressed and taken care of because it really drives me crazy and stresses me out and I would like to have the underside of the truck somewhat clean and not have to worry about any leaks and stuff like that. But while I'm down here I'll show you the side of the frame here. We're working all down along the bottom of it and this side and just kind of working here around the front to mid section. There's still some spots up here in the front that I do have to get so I got a wire wheel all this stuff off I got to get up here and get underneath the cab on the bottom of the cab and stuff and take care of that we definitely still have quite a bit of work to do and a lot more ground to cover with our wire wheeling and getting our prep work done uh, but once we do we can get this thing all hosed down and take care of just degreasing it and making sure that it's all rinsed off and good and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a lot of rust reformer and I'm gonna spray everything over over with rust reformer just to lock it up and seal everything and then we will take our undercoating and we will go over it with the undercoating let me know down in the comment section any uh, known and common areas that you know of that leak oil aside from ones that I just listed if there's any other areas that I should look into and take a peek at because I plan to in the very near future start to get all of that degreased and pressure washed off so that we can hopefully start to see what's going on and try to track it down maybe look at getting that fixed and addressed in the meantime we're going to continue to clean down the frame and get that thing as prepared as possible so that we can undercoat the hell out of it and get that all cleaned up if you guys know of any other areas besides the ones that i've already kind of named off that would be leaking oil or that i should look at and maybe i would discover an oil leak there uh go ahead and let me know down in the comment section um i am gonna probably look to start degreasing that and getting it all pressure washed off here very soon in the near future because I would like to try and track that down and hopefully get that straightened out. I still have plenty of time to do it, but I would like to have that done before winter time. Things with the truck are going to start slowing down just a little bit. I, I do wanna start, things with the truck are gonna to start to slow down just a little bit as far as repairs and the fix it videos because I do need to and want to start saving some money aside to maybe entertain the thought of getting into a, a slightly newer truck or getting some more bigger mods for this truck I'm not quite sure which road I will travel down just yet but we will figure that out in the future I know a lot of you guys came here to the channel for the content I've been making with the 24 valve Cummins but I feel like even if I got a newer truck you guys are awesome you would still be right there to support and see what I did with the new new truck I do have a pretty strong attachment to this one though so uh, I there could be some bigger mods coming to the 24 valve Cummins in the future and she may not go anywhere at all so we'll find out in the future I'm, I'm still thinking about things and figuring it out but just a quick little video about the oil leak and just the way it drives me mad dude it just drives me insane and I do need to figure out where it's coming from see if I can't get it taken care of so let me know any other areas that I should check in the comment section below hit that like button for little bits of progress we're making with the wire wheel on the frame and underneath the body of the truck so that we can go ahead and get it all undercoated and cleaned up and more presentable down underneath there before winter gets here and just to protect it from the upcoming winter that is a few months out and if you guys are stopping in for the first time just found the channel checking it out seeing what it's all about 
hit that subscribe button, join the family. We got an awesome group of guys here on the channel that shares so much knowledge in the comment section. We're all learning something on the daily. So hit that subscribe button, like, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ooh, there she is, boys. I forgot to tell you, we do have a new hose coming so that we can hook up the wastegate actuator to the diesel auto power adjustable boost elbow because obviously this one is too short this wastegate housing here is just a little bit bigger than the stock one so i do have new hose coming should be here tomorrow and we will get that installed I just